Hi there and welcome to Guitar Fingers Book 1. This is Lesson 16 and we're going to be looking at three songs that have lots of our sharps and flats that we introduced in the previous lesson. So straight away on page 18 we're going to look at Staccato Blues which is exercise 37. Um, I won't do too much detailed description now of the notes because we're beginning to get familiar with these. I'll just give us uh, the information as we need. So we start off on beat three, we get one, two, we get a rest there, one, two, and then E, G, A, A. So we get one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so let's talk about those. E, G, fret three for the, the uh, fret uh, open string E of course and then fret 3 for the G two staccato notes for the A's now one, two C natural with a tenuto hold it for its full length now C and then staccato C sharp so you can see why stacca uh, staccato is now differentiated from the tenutos which is saying hold them for the full value so we don't get staccatos on those um, we get a repeat of that with just a different dynamic, MP. So it's like a little echo there. Then we move to the next set of strings. So we get open A, C and then D. Both staccatos, F natural to F sharp. I'll play that again. A, C, D, D, F natural. And then we get a repeat of that. Then we're back down to the E and G's. We get a rest again, one, two, and then a change of notes. So we go A, G. Okay, so we've got open strings E's there, followed by a B flat, fret three on string three to the natural B, open string. Tenuto on that one. Okay, so that's gonna sound slightly strange, but it's quite bluesy sound, so we get. Okay, it's quite nice. And then we finish off with um, open string E to G. A, G, F sharp, F natural, E, then E. Um, I've put a staccato on those notes, so okay, so it all sounds nice and short, uh, staccato detached, of course, so they sound quite good like that. Um, the next exercise is uh, exercise 38, which is Theo's Country Blues. Uh, I wrote a, a set of songs uh, for a, a young student I have. Uh, he was so young uh, that when we were going through the grades, uh, before I took him into grade two, I wrote three songs uh, for him to help him through, and he was absolutely fantastic. He uh, learnt the three songs, learnt all the techniques and the notes we did, and then went on and did his grade two, and of course he passed quite comfortably, and uh, he's now a grade three guitar player. So, um, Theo's Country Blues, lots of bass notes, and then lots of high notes. So I use thumbs for the low notes, and fingers for the high notes. Use the fingerings I've given for the left hand uh, because we'll see that we can't have finger three really jumping from low to high so we need lots of finger fours. So we start off with finger three going C, G, C, G. Okay, so that's nice. And then G, E, G, E. Repeat. We've got a little repeat of this again, so C, G, C, G, G, E, G, E, C, G, C, G, D, D, D. Slight change there, uh, and that ends that phrase. So now we change to the Fs, F and Cs, F, F, D, D, C, repeat, F, C, F, C, A, A, B, C. We get a new technique now called pizzicato. Um, so we rest our right hand on the white part there, 
uh, where the strings rest on. That's called the saddle. This area is called the bridge. So we rest, do a karate chop if you like, if you can see that, across there. And if I use my thumb, you can hear they're all muted. So we're going to mute the strings, it's pizzicato, and we play E, E. So you use your, all your thumbs for this. Remember to keep the pizzicato muting. F naturals, F sharps, G. So we get there. Quavers and then a crotchet at the end. Back to natural sound, so just fingers and remove, obviously you have to remove the pizzicato now. Finger four, finger three for the Ds, B. Now Fs, C, A, F. So remember it's a tails up note, stems up, so we use fingers. And then we're back to thumbs, not pizzicato, but just thumbs going um, Cs, A, B flat, B natural. C, C, so we get C, C, okay. So you can add the dynamics in as necessary um, and uh, that will give a nice bouncy song. Now we come to a variation on Bore, uh, exercise 39, it's a bark song uh, that I've just adapted to help us play this. So it's a really nice song. Um, and we've got lots of different sharp notes in. So we start off, uh, it says Allegro, but we're going to take it nice and slow here to be able to play these songs and learn them. Um, single F sharp in the key signature. Um, so remember all your Fs, wherever they are, unless otherwise indicated, are played as F sharps. So we start off with quaver notes going E, F, G, fingers two and three, you might as well use there. F sharp to E, finger four for D sharp, fret four on string four, I'm using finger four, E, F sharp, B. Now we've got C sharp, D sharp, E. Okay, so I'll take this a little bit of the time to help us here. The first set of phrases, the first notes. Okay, and then I'm going to play my C sharp. To D sharp, back to D natural and C naturals now. Yes, yeah, so I was using fingers two and four for the C sharps and D sharps, fingers one and three for the D natural and C naturals. We carry on A, G, F sharp, G, A, and our run of notes B, A, G, F sharp, E. So just use all fingers for these, don't use any thumbs. The key point is to remember where I've said use fingers two and four for particular notes, C sharp, D sharp and F sharp, try to use those. So this takes us to the end of bar five. Uh, we've got a repeat, E, F sharp, Gs, F sharp, E, D sharp, finger four, E, F sharp and now B. Fingers two and four for C sharp and D sharp. Back to the naturals, fingers one and three for D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, G, G, Gs. So now we go to bar 10 and we get the low notes. So we get a repeat on the low notes or a slight variation. E, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, F sharp hold that into the next bar because it's a tied note so it covers by beats four and one e, e. okay so nice rhythms there finishing off with e f sharp g f sharp e okay back to f sharp that's just a, a mimic of that oh, tied f sharp Finishing off with a D sharp, hold that, and you could let that clash over that E if you wish as well, it gives a really nice clashy sound, or you could just lift and you get the two separated notes. So good luck with Bore, Theo's Blues and Staccato's Blues, uh, and look out for my demonstrations of those songs.